27. Expand the bracket with four lots of 3x minus 6. So when you're expanding the bracket, another way of calling that is uh, multiplying out the bracket. So what we've got to remember is that there's an invisible time sign between the bracket and any number that's in front of it. So it means the whole bracket times by four. So in other words, everything in the bracket has to be times by four. So some people like to do this straight off when they're working out. Some people like to draw a little grid. We'll have a look at both possible ways. We'll get the same answer whichever way we do it. So if both things in the bracket need to be times by four, we need to do whatever 3x times four is. So 3x happening four times would be 12x. Because 3 lots of four is 12. So 3x times four is 12x. And then we want the negative six happening four times. So 6 times by 4 is 24, so negative 6 times by 4 must be negative 24. And that's it's as simple as that, so that's your final answer, 12x minus 24. Some people like to do a grid, so if you were going to do a grid, then you would do this, like a multiplying out grid, or like a times table grid, should I say. So um, Whatever's in front of the bracket goes in front of the grid. Whatever's inside the bracket goes on top of the grid, like that. And then you multiply to get what goes inside the squares. So this box here would be 4 lots of 3x. Well, 4 lots of 3x, 4 lots of 3 is 12. So 4 lots of 3x is 12x. And this box here is 4 lots of 6, which is 24. So 4 lots of negative 6 must be negative 24. Whichever way you do it, gets the same answer.